here with LSU women's golf coach Karen Bonson as we as they prepare for the LSU Invitational this weekend. Coach, first of all, congratulations. You've been in the top five all year long. Yep. You've been here uh, probably longer than I, I, you and I care to admit, but uh, congratulations, first of all. Talk a little bit about this fantastic team that you have that is currently ranked uh, number five in the country. They're a really, really good group from top to bottom. And what differentiates this team from ones I've had in the past is that we do have more depth this year. You know, we have six, seven, eight players deep, you know, that any given day could be in the lineup. And their scoring averages are really low. So that's really what has made this team, you know, you know, go that extra step further. But I'm really excited about where we can go. When you look at the field, about 21 teams that are going to be in the LSU Invitational, but uh, this may be as highly ranked an LSU team uh, hosting their own tournament. Um, you know, compare this team. I know you've said you've had some other teams, but when you consider the depth of this team, um, you must like your chances going in on the uh, home turf. I do, and what we just, you know, obviously re, uh, renovated the golf course and made a lot of changes to it. So no one's going to really know the golf course as well as we do. And it's it's a difficult golf course, but we we made it difficult on purpose, you know, to help our players to be prepared for when we go away from here. And so that when they go to other golf courses, they're not surprised by anything, and they don't be like, oh wow, this is a hard golf course. Now they get there like this is easy compared to what we play every day. So we're excited about that and going into our home tournament here the highly ranked teams, um, it's just the little knowledge, little nuances that we know about the golf courses that they don't know. Hopefully it will help us. Megan McCristo, uh, number one uh, ranked golfer in the country, the only, the second one, Jenny Lidback, uh, you were telling me off air, is the only one that's been ranked number one. Talk a little bit about her her leadership, her play this year has been spectacular, but uh, what's made her uh, had such a, a great, uh, outstanding season this year? Well, um, um Megan has really worked really hard, you know, and the biggest thing I think that I see a difference in her scoring, I've seen her hit it close to the pin, close to the pin for the next, last couple of years, but she's really broke through and really making a lot more putts this year, and that's because she has worked her tail off on that, you know, and finally I'm, I'm glad to see her see the benefits of all that hard work, you know, and we just never knew when it was going to kick in, so we're pretty excited it cooked, kicked in here for her senior year. Um, as far as her leadership, she leads on and off the golf course, which is great. Um, she's a competitor, wants to win, but they're all there for each other as teammates, and that's real important. You know, I'm constantly amazed uh, with the development of junior golf, how freshmen can have such an impact. And obviously, yeah. you had a freshman win a tournament uh, last week. Talk yeah. a little bit about her performance and, and uh, what she brings to the sure. table. Um, Austin Ernst is a freshman from Seneca, South Carolina. And we were just so excited for her to come in because really, um, Austin ended up finishing first and Megan ended up finishing third. So, that Megan, that was good for Megan, too, to have one of her teammates come in there. It was like, whoa, you know. But it also just showed the depth that we have. So, we haven't had a freshman win a tournament in a long time and a lot of freshmen don't have, get to do that um, so we're really excited for her and I think really for SEC freshman of the year and uh, it's going to come down between Austin and Steffi Meadows from Alabama so um, it'll be neat so we'd love to see her win another one. So. And of course Alabama is going to be here they're ranked number one in the country yeah. so it'll be a great opportunity to see that uh, them, them go. Um, Talk a little bit about uh, some of the other members of the team. You talk about the sure. depth. Uh, mm -hmm. If you could tell us a little bit about uh, some of the other performers that uh, sure. are going to be uh, competing next week. Yep, uh, Tessa Teachman. She's from here in Baton Rouge. Uh, she went to University High, and uh, she's actually I'm a number two player. She's got like a 70 scoring average, which is great. Um, she's been our perennial number two. Um, and then Mary Michael Maggio's from um, – Arkansas, she's come in. Jacqueline Headwall from Sweden. We have Amalia Valla, who's also from Norway. So we have a mixture. And then Lindy Lebove from um, Arizona, all coming in and have played for us at some point during the year. So um, we, as you can see, we have depth. Our top five scoring averages on the team are all under 71. So that's pretty impressive, you know. And we don't play from the ladies' tees. We play, you know, ladies' tees are around, six, I mean, 5,300 yards. We play from like 6,400 yards when we play in tournaments. So we basically play from where the guys play. So these girls can play some golf. Absolutely. And speaking of that, what a great opportunity for, for fans uh, that love LSU to yeah. come out and A, see the great renovations at University Club if they've not seen it, yeah. but also get an opportunity to get up and close and see some really good golf and really support the LSU Tiger teams. What, what message would you have to the LSU fans at, uh, uh, this weekend as we, uh, you're hosting the tournament, uh, some of the things that they could look forward to and, and experience here? Yeah, well, we really wanted to come out and watch the girls play. This is our one home event of the year, and so people don't get an opportunity to see us every week or every year, really. So we really want you all to come out and support these girls. This is a group of kids that are talented and 
man, they could see some incredible golf. And just to watch those girls hit it, their swings are beautiful, but they can hit it a mile too. So it's really interesting to watch them play. Coach Karen Bonson, uh, the number five ranked uh, Lady Tigers, uh, hosting uh, the LSU Invitational and defending their home turf this weekend. Coach, congratulations on the great year. Finish strong, and we'll be out rooting for you this weekend. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.